Cannabis has been used and accepted as a medicine in society and in the world for far longer than it's been prohibited. You know, this goes back uh, in ancient China with, uh, you know, Emperor Sheng Yung and in ancient Greece um, where this is being used for many different uh, conditions. And I think it's really interesting to point out that our federal government in the U.S. actually holds a patent on all cannabinoids for a neuroprotectant and an antioxidant, yet they claim that it has no medicinal value and it's a Schedule One drug alongside heroin. And to kind of put it into context, uh, cocaine is a Schedule II drug. The cannabis industry is changing every year and we're seeing more and more acceptance of this um, as we go along. You know, it is unfortunate in the U.S. given uh, the federal, you know, scheduling and status of cannabis, it is a Schedule I drug. Uh, so it does make it a little difficult to advance in things like research, but um, we're seeing countries like Canada um, that just legalize it on a complete, you know, countrywide level for recreational uses. Uh, Colombia, uh, the country of Colombia and country of Australia have both completely legalized this for medical uh, purposes. So we're really hoping to, you know, to see that happen here. Um, but I think, you know, it's just evolved and just, you know, being at PitCon over the past four years, I remember the first time I was here, you know, walking the floor, talking about cannabis, trying to see who was interested. It, it was very low. And then the next year it built up a little bit more and then built up a little bit more uh, until now, you know, we're here and it's just, more and more people are excited and we're all about bridging the gaps with what we do. So really connecting the analytical experts with the cannabis community because I think it is, a, you know, you have to merge these two together because obviously, you know, the people that have been cultivating and dealing with this, this plant and this industry for, you know, all these years, um, they have a lot of information to offer, you know, these analytical experts and scientists and doctors and researchers and vice versa. So we really try to, you know, create a platform to, you know, bridge those gaps and bring those individuals together. Potency screening is really important because we have so many different, uh, you know, kinds or versions or chemotypes or strains, if you will, of cannabis, and they all kind of can work differently. So I, I think that we're starting to see that you're, this is really being used to target treat, and some some things work better for other things, and some strains or, or, or profiles work different for other things. So we're really starting to see, um, you know, the advancement in that, and we're seeing HPLC for potency, but we're also seeing things like near infrared spectroscopy being implemented. Obviously Obviously GC, GCMS, um, ICPMS, so it's really a lot of great techniques and technologies and I think you know a little bit of it is just trying to figure out what the best thing that works is and I think the sample preparation plays a big role in the conversation because you know, I, I think that throws off some, some analytical chemists sometimes because cannabis is not just one form. So you obviously have the flower uh, or the bud kind of cannabis that's just, you know, how it, how it is when it's grown. But then there's also so many different other forms and consistencies that you can turn cannabis into, like tincture oils or edibles or other things. I really see PitCon as a leader in analytical science and I think it's great that over the past few years they've implemented more and more um, education and you know we're honored to have been invited back you know year after year to do our analytical cannabis symposium and a bunch of other content and it's just been great you know working together and you know we we come to the show and we exhibit and they come to our shows and exhibit and it's a great kind of working relationship for for me it's great because we get to connect with a lot of our vendors from our conferences that are here many of them uh, have been involved with PitCon for many, many years, and I just, I think PitCon's a great show, and if anyone's interested in learning more, I think it's a great place to check out.